Celebrated filmmaker Sadir Gupta travelled more than 4,000 miles from India to the northeast to document how Northumbrian water has spent a billion pounds on sewage treatment to clean up the region and its water environment. I do make films, documentaries, and part of my, uh, of my fellowship in the Institute of Advanced Study has to do with uh, my filming all these two months, three months, and filming about the rivers and trying to make a comparison with rivers here and the rivers in India. Sadia's tour of the region took him to the only treatment works in the country, on Tyneside, which uses the natural power of reeds to purify water after sewage treatment and water seeping from disused mines. Rivers which became dirty once through industrialization, through domestic sewage, uh, they can be cleaned up finally. You know, I find that very, very hopeful as an Indian because in India, as of now, with heavy industrialization, we can't even imagine how rivers can be cleaned up. Sadia also filmed at daybreak in the wilds of Weirdale, as snow lay on the ground. And, as the sun rose, he focused his lens on a new showpiece Northumbrian water treatment works hidden away below the reservoir. A wonderful water treatment, huh? looking like a farmstead instead of anything else. And that's a very good thought because uh, uh, that way your, your treatment plants, they kind of uh, set into the landscape and they don't look like eyesores, you know. As the sun set on Teesside, Sadir captured the sheer scale of the 52-acre works needed to safely treat domestic and industrial waste from a population equivalent of 2 million people and create green power from the remaining sludge. Well, that was very impressive, I must say. I was, I was amazed seeing that to clean up sewage, one needs billions of pounds and a whole city to actually work it out. I thought it must be a small job, you know, just have a small little place and, you know, have some rotary pumps and, you know, do the job. Lights, camera, action. Sadir's documentary eye followed the flows from giant tanks and through pipes and processes. So I really love the people around and uh, through the people, through friends, I have come to understand uh, the Northeast as well, you know, various parts of Northeast, various small little things. And I almost feel like a, like a local now, you know. <laughs> Sadir reflected on what his film highlights and what hope there is for the future. I really hope that it changes something because uh, there are some very critical questions as far as development goes, industrialization goes, you know. Uh, we can't really put all our confidence in this silver bullet of technology, if I may call that, because uh, um, it, it doesn't only seem to have positive effects, but it has a lot of unintended negative consequences too, especially on our environment, on the natural landscape, on animals, birds, water, you know, trees. So we need to save everything if we want to save ourselves. <laughs>